Gundam.tk presents A.G. Gaffran. Hey again everybody, it's Robert184, two R's, two B's from YouTube and Gundam.tk, and as Gundam Age the series goes on, and actually as it kicked off, of course every Gundam needs a bad guy to beat up on, and the Gaffran provided that. It's come out in high grade, but here's a look at the advanced grade, which sells for a much lower price. Which is 600 yen, half the price of the high grade. It came out when Age started airing in 2011. And in the series of advanced grade models, it's number two following up on the age one normal. As you've probably seen in my advanced grade videos, yes, these kits are designed for kids to pick up at sort of impulse buys in supermarkets and play a game that actually exists there thanks to the chip that's inside, whereas the high grade models are the ones that are going to be much more familiar to Gundam fans. Now, when I buy these kits, I buy them as impulse buys. They cost less than a Big Mac meal, especially when you're getting your discount on them. However, if you're importing these, you may have a totally different take on whether these kits are worth picking up or whether you should go strictly high grade or better. The box tour is probably going to disappoint a few kids because they'll think it'll look that good, but with the colors inside, it's not going to be too far off. You do get the beam rifle there, which is long and doesn't seem to attach as a sword. And yes, you get a card for Gundam Tri-Age. And here's the advertisement for the game that you can go play in the mall and the block build system. I wonder if it's going to be as useful here as it is with a kit like the Age 1 Normal where you're stacking color on top of color. To crack the proverbial egg here, inside you're going to have one bag, two blue plates and a black plate with the card and the gauging chip and the manual at the bottom. All of the plates are unique to the Gaffran and here you're going to have the parts for the feet, tail and one of the wings. The other half on the A2 plate is going to give you everything you need for the body, the head, unlike the high grade which is made up of a ton of parts, just two here although you do get a commander's fin and the shoulders and back are there. Waiting to be combined with this inner frame similar to the AG1 or for the age one, then you're going to have two parts to the legs which at least have some color differentiation in the feet. The arms though, no such luck, they're all just going to be one color including the hands, but you are going to get a part there for inside the head. You'll also be getting Gauging Chip 002, and there's your Tri-Age card with the Gavran. Pretty decent cover art there. When completed, here's what you're going to get, and you'll notice that the two colors are well done there. The wings are not going to have any problems because they're just locked into place, so if you like this pose, you'll like this, you won't have any problems getting it there. There's no green part there for the chest cannon, and it's very noticeable that it's missing that cool green sticker that would bring the eyes to life in their mysterious beeping ways. For posability, there is none because the legs are not going to move, these wings are not going to move, and the upper body is going to consist of an arm that pops off, but otherwise they should be able to rotate around. You'll notice that that moved the head ever so slightly, which has that large part underneath, and it's sort of cool that they've got that much black and blue in such a small piece for advanced grade. But in terms of the weapons, it's just going to plug in down there. You'll notice it can only go on this arm, and it sticks in there and gets in the way of the armpit ever so slightly, but you can turn it if you wanted to have it blasting out of his hip, which is much more familiar for Gundam, Freedom, or Strike Freedom. For height comparison, he's going to tower over the Genoa's Custom, also in AG here, which is only going to come in one color, so this guy certainly looks a lot more interesting, despite the fact that he doesn't have anything cool covering his face or eyes. A lot more colorful as well than the Zetus, which is also in AG here. The wings both are locked into place on both of them. This one's sort of memorable that it's got different hands there left and right. The way that you attach the weapon is the same, but this one has a much more freer range. Next to its high grade counterpart though, you'll, there's more similarities than differences in terms of coloring. You'll notice there's even black there on the feet. Pretty much everything is represented in the waist and chest in terms of colors, except this one does have a clear part that you can put a seal on or paint it, and this one is going to have the sticker, but outside of the option to A, transform this guy, and take the tail and turn it into a weapon, they're pretty much equal when it comes to looks, though nowhere there for posability. 
In terms of a final verdict, I've got to say for 600 yen, I'm pretty happy with this kit just because of what you're getting out of it. You're getting two colors, it looks good, there's all sorts of little details, like even just the way the head is presented, and the fact that you're going to get different hands, and it's sort of disappointing that you can't have a tail slash weapon. But anyway, it looks good there, and though it can't swing over the shoulder, I think it's going to be okay in terms of a grunt army, which I think for 600 yen, the advanced grades, unless you're going to be playing the game, is the only thing you'd be needing it for. The big knock against this, of course, is that it doesn't transform. You wonder if they couldn't just had a simple bend mechanism, which of course none of the AGs have in the legs, to bring it down and put it down on all fours, so the high grade certainly takes the cake there. But in terms of looks, if you don't mind having no posability whatsoever, this one is going to look good, and if you go back to Zaku 2s, having high grade and real grade Zaku 2s is great, but if you had a $6 AG, you could certainly build up a battle scene pretty quickly, and I think that that's what I'm going to use this for. And for me, who can just pick it up as spur of the moment, I think it's great, but importers, you may want to reconsider a little bit. Anyway, that's just me, Robert184. Why don't you let me know your opinion about this advanced grade, the whole line, and about its, the Gafran in the anime. Do you miss the transformation? No problem whatsoever. Of course, would you buy the high grade for double the price? Love to hear from ya. In the meantime, thanks of course for watching and stay tuned for lots more AG, HG, and MGs are coming on their way, so I can't wait for that. And don't forget to check out the anime reviews where yes, it's quite useful for me to have two of these guys since they seem to show up in increasing numbers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Always great to hear from you. See you next time, everybody. You know, I think I'm a slightly better kit if only because I can hold my weapon where it should be, in the hands. But that's nowhere near as cool as throwing your tail over your shoulder and then blasting somebody with it.